Hey guys, this is uh, Tides or Kyle from Rumble Fighter EU, and I'm going to show you guys how to install Gem Fighter. First of all, you're going to need a Gem Fighter account, and right now the only way you can make a Gem Fighter account is if you have a Korean social security number and a Korean cell phone number. That means you have to be you have to have like a, a contract with SK Telecom or whatever and then you have to have the cell phone and then they send you a verification message to your phone so it's it's almost impossible to make a Korean uh, uh, gem fighter account without uh, without being Korean <laughs> so this will only work if you have an account from before they added this new system. So first you're going to obviously want to open up Internet Explorer and depending on whether you made your account on We Made or Tooniland, you open one or the other. Now most of the problem that people have is that they try to log into their account and the problem is they hit log in and nothing happens or they hit game start and nothing happens and it, the problem is is that they check your IP on on your computer and what the only way you get by this is you go into your settings down to internet options go to connection LAN settings and here you're gonna want to enable your proxy server and this will be unchecked at first, so you ch check mark this too, that it bypasses for local addresses. And here's your IP um, that you found on the internet. You can find this by just searching Korean proxy in Google, and you'll get a bunch of I IPs, and you can just put this in. You can't see mine because I don't want too many people go using this one because it'll make me lag. So you check it, hit OK hit apply then hit okay now you're going now if you log in you should be able to log in oh wait first you have to refresh after you do that first now t keep in mind that since you're using a proxy your internet is going to be s slower so it will take longer to load web pages but after you log in you can disable your proxy and it's almost loaded anyway now we wait <laughs> like I said it is slower now Try that again. There we go. So yeah, it does it does take a bit till you can log in. And as you can see, here I am. Here's my account. It says it weird because that's my nickname on the game. Level twenty. Um. Yeah, and now you're going to hit game start, and for you, you're going to get a bunch, you're, a little window is going to show up, and it's going to, it's going to ask you to download the Wii Made Entrance Launcher, and with this, that's basically you're downloading the patcher. You're going to hit run, and then after that, this is going to show up. Oh wait no! First, it's go it's going to it's going to finish. It's you're going to install the Wii Made launcher. It's going to close all of your browsers. So then you're gonna wa what you're gonna want to do, reopen it, re-log in. It's a pain in the ass, I know. Uh, you're going then you're going to click Game Start again, and then this little page with uh, this like little square. It's about the same size as the launcher. It's going to show up. It's going to have like a little shield in the middle. In the bottom left-hand corner, about right, right here, there's going to be a square. You check mark that and then hit the button. It's just an agreement. And once that's done, 
the launcher will open up. It'll add, it'll uh, sh it'll have like this bar, and it'll t ask you where you want to save it. And you just pick where you want to save the download, and then you download it. Then you install it, and then the pat then the patcher it itself will start patching the game. Keep in uh, keep in mind that after you accept that like shield thing, you want to go turn your proxy off because otherwise you're you will be patching the game much slower and downloading it much slower than you actually sh could be able to. I have my internet's all right and I downloaded the game in under an hour, patched it in under an hour and then I was able to play. Then you just hit the big green button right here. And here you go. The hack shield is uh, starting up. Let me sh I can't remember. Did I turn off my proxy? Yes, I did. Um, now, I'm going to wait for it to start, obviously. And another thing, since if you haven't logged into your Gemfighter account within the last 30 days, it will ask you to change your password. So, you know where that you're gonna get some weird, weird page, and then the, it's gonna have like a big text, pink text box, and in the bottom right hand corner there's a little X. You hit, hit you hit the X, and then it'll have a couple of lines. Think of three spaces. It asks you for your old password, then your two, then to put in your new password, and then to confirm your new password. And if there's anything you don't get, you can just Google translate it. It'll you'll get the idea. All you have to do is highlight, copy, and paste it into the Google into Google Translator. Take in mind, Gemfighter actually takes longer to load because you have to ping to the server, and your connection to server is obviously a lot farther distance than to normal Fighter EU or NA. So basically, if you play with a Korean they're most likely going to lag a lot. You'll be able to hit them, but you can't fight seriously. But if you play with anyone from your same region, there's no lag whatsoever, or very little at all. Basically, if I play with Majora or Rate, I, uh, there's almost no lag whatsoever. And here we are. You can see I'm on. Everything's in question marks because I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. Uh, Hellhand, Dark Haze, Kuroshu. And that's it. You get your fishing lures for logging in.